Uh, this is question number 17, which is the first question in section 2. Section 2 consists of 50 marks. Uh, you are given um, 8 marks. Uh, you do 5 of them. Each question is 10 marks. So you'll be able to score 50 marks in total. Uh, so question number 17 says the table below shows the height measured to the nearest centimeter of 101 uh, popo trees. So we have the height uh, 20 to 24. The frequency was 2, 25 to 29. Frequency was 15, 30 to 34. Frequency was 18, uh, 35 to 39. Frequency was 25, 40 to 44. Frequency was 30, uh, 45 to 49. We have 6, 50 to 54. We have 3. 55 to 59 we have two uh, so you are sold to state the mode of class part a and you get one mark so mode of class class is the class that has the highest frequency and if you look the frequencies uh, this is where we have that is the highest value of the frequency so the mode of class is 40 to 44 uh, so that's how you put here 40 to 44 that is the mode of class uh, then part B, calculate to two decimal places, uh, Roman number one, the mean height, you get four marks, and here you get uh, Roman number two, you get difference between the medium height and the mean height. Uh, so for us to be able to get the mean, normally we say the mean is equal to summation of XF uh, divided by summation of F. So to be able to do that, uh, we are going to make a table so that we have uh, these values. Uh, since it, it is classified data, we will need to identify the midpoint, we will take the, which will take the place of x. So let's draw that table. You can just draw it uh, using your hand, but uh, let me use my, my lines here. So you have, uh, that's the first column. Uh, that, so we have the first column is uh, for the class uh, the second column is for the uh, midpoint uh, then we have the the third column we have uh, the frequency uh, and then uh, the 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 fourth one this is the uh, frequency to me do it properly uh, after that we have uh, we have the product xf uh, and also because we have talked of the the median here uh, that is uh, the difference between the median height and the mean height uh, let's have a column of uh, the I don't I don't think we need that but let's just have that so we have that line you can do it using uh, freehand so how many classes one two three four five six seven eight so we need eight uh, rows I think that's a bit big. Uh, so we have the first row. Uh, we have the second row. Uh, we have the third row. We have the fourth row. Uh, let's just uh, correct that. I think uh, those are two white. So we have one. Uh, we have two. Uh, we have uh, three. We have four. We have five, we have six, we have seven, and we have eight. So let's see whether those ones will be enough. Uh, so the first one, we have the class. Uh, the other one is a midpoint, which will take the value of x. Uh, the other one is, uh, we'll put the frequency, f. Uh, this is the frequency. Uh, then we have the product of x, f. Uh, uh, then they have the other one is, uh, I don't think we need the cumulative frequency. So let's uh, first of all work with that. Uh, you need the, uh, because we need the median, okay, we need the uh, cumulative frequency. So the class will start with 20 to 24. We have uh, 25 to 29. We have 30 to 34, uh, 35 to 39. 
uh, 40 to 44 then 45 to 49 we have 50 to 59 then we have 15 uh, 50 uh, this is uh, let's say 55 there then we have uh, 54 not 55 uh, let's correct that 54 then we have 55 to 59 so those are the classes the midpoint here we can get, get the midpoint uh, you can either subtract uh, 24 you minus 20 you get 4 you divide by 2 you get 2 so this will be 22 uh, this will, you add 2 you get 27 you add 2 to 25 uh, we, have, we have 32 here we have 37, here we have 42, we have 47, uh, we have 52, and we have 57. Uh, then from there, uh, we have uh, the frequency. We read the frequency the way they are here. So we have 2, we have 15, we have 18, we have 25, uh, we have 30, we have... Uh, that is we have six we have three and finally we have two we multiply the midpoint that is the x multiply by the frequency so this will give us 44 you multiply here can use your calculator you get 405 uh, you multiply 32 times 18 uh, you get 576 you multiply 37 times 25 you get 925 uh, subtract multiply 30 times 42 you get 1260 uh, you multiply 47 by 6 uh, you'll be able to get 3 uh, there are not 3 but 282 uh, 282 uh, you multiply 52 times 3 you get 156 uh, you multiply 57 times 2 you get 114 the cumulative frequency you add up the frequency these ones eh? so you add 15 2 2 plus 15 is 17 uh, plus uh, 27 you get 35 uh, you add uh, 32 uh, when you add 32 uh, you get uh, this is a uh, no you are you add 25 you get 60 you add 30 you get 90 uh, add 6 you get 96 add 3 you get 90 uh, 99 add 2 you get 101 the total cumulative frequency should give you the frequency the total frequency that we have there uh, so we already know the total frequency here is 101 that is the summation of xf to help us get the mean the summation of xf you use your calculator to add up all this and you'll be able to get uh, 37 3762 now this means that we can be able to get the mean uh, by dividing the sum the total of xf which is uh, 3762 uh, and you divide by total frequency summation of f that is 101 when you divide that uh, you are told to work with the two decimal places so use your calculator uh, you get 37.62 so that is the uh, that is the mean uh, then we are told the part Roman number two uh, the difference between the mean height and th that is the median height and the uh, mean height uh, here you say because they are they are that uh, they are they are 101 101 um, purple trees uh, the midpoint will be 51 uh, that is uh, 50 on this side 50 on the other side so you get here the value which lies in the the median value lies in this class of 35 to 39 that is uh, at, at, at cumulative frequency is 60 so what you do is you say uh, to get to 51 from 35 uh, you get uh, that uh, that is you, you 51 you minus 35 you get uh, this you get give you uh, 16 so you need to add up 16 values to 35 to get to the median point 
So this is how you calculate the median. You say we need 16 uh, out of the 25 from this class here, 25. Uh, that is 16 values we get in the next class, which has a frequency of 25. So that's why we are dividing by 25 and you multiply by the interval, the class interval, which is 5. And that will give you uh, 3.2. So because we are saying that uh, the, the median class is in this, what you do is you add that to 4, that is the lower class boundary uh, of this class, 34.5, you add to 3.2 to get to the median, which you'll be able to get, it is 37 point, that, that is 37.7. .7. Now with that, we can be able to get the, the difference. We already have the mean, which is 37.62, 37 37.62. So we say difference is equals to uh, that the 7.62 you minus that the 7 point uh, uh, we should start with that 7.7 .7 because it is a the bigger value that 7.7 .7, you subtract that 7.62 and this you'll be able to get for uh, 0.45 so that's the best difference between uh, the median and the mean height. And if you get to that level, then you should be able to get uh, 10 marks. You should be able to be awarded marks for, for example, getting the, getting the sum here. Uh, that is a mark for you. Uh, you should be able to get a mark here for getting the mean, a mark for getting the answer. Uh, and... Uh, also a mark for the cumulative frequency those add up to four then here you should be able to get a mark there uh, a mark there a mark there a mark there a mark there and a mark there so that will total up to 10 so that's how you this question is from statistics 2 uh, which you did in form 4 so i hope you have followed uh, you can practice more on uh, this uh, from other uh, past papers.